All right, we got a lot to talk about on these two shows here tonight. Uh, a lot of news coming out of the AEW show, including the debut of Jeff Hardy. So it did happen here on this show. Yeah. And uh, lots of it, interviews it, and lots of build. Paige Van Zandt uh, signing, which was also known about. They set up the... So the deal with um, Thunder Rosa, you know, they, they, they basically kind of had to do... I mean, they didn't have to. If you, they, they wanted to set up a cage match for um, St. Patrick's Day, for the St. Patrick's Day show, which is next week in San Antonio, which is Thunder Rose's hometown. Britt Baker, Thunder Rose in a cage, which e- explains pretty much, you know, the why they did what they did. Because to set up a cage, it's either, either Britt Baker runs away, which she didn't, because uh, they're not going to do a runaway count out in AEW. So the other thing is lots of interference, which is what they did. And a lot of people were annoyed by it. And I can understand why, because I think people don't like that anymore in wrestling. But to set up a cage match, it was the obvious thing. That's why she got her the two visionary, the, the submission when Baker tapped out that the ref missed because of the distraction and the pinfall that the ref missed because of the distraction. So now it's a cage and in theory, there's no distraction and, uh, yeah, next week they're going to do that, and also a uh, six-man tag with Adam Page and a mystery team, which they teased both the Young Bucks and Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Um, Actually, he flat out said it was going to be Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. He did say that, yeah. yeah. But they certainly teased the Young Bucks, though, as the show went on, against uh, Fish and O'Reilly and, um, and Adam Cole. And, um, yeah, Orange Cassidy's, you know... No surgery, but he's definitely hurt. Uh, yeah, Armin he's a sling. There with sling, yeah. Yeah, Armin a sling, and he's going to be out for a while. Uh, Jericho was among the living. Jericho set up a new group. Uh, the What's the Jericho? What's the name of the new group? Appreciation Society. Jericho Appreciation Society. Jericho, Jake Hager, Daniel Garcia, J- uh, Jeff Parker, Matt Lee, 2 and tur- tur- uh, turning with, uh, it looks like Eddie Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz will be feuding with them. And yeah, there was a lot of there's a lot of stuff. It was a very busy show. I mean, but um, you know the the Jeff Hardy thing was the biggest, but there was so much that I almost feel like he got a big pop. The William Regal thing was real big. I guess he must have gone long because I, it it from what I was told from people who were there live, they had like a the the floor director was trying to wrap him up and he kept going and going and going he didn't appear like he was doing a wwe hall of fame speech yeah so i guess he went long and they had to rush the rest of the show and i mean this was interesting because you know usually in AEW, the show consists of a lot of 12 and 13 minute matches and and in this one there's a lot of those matches especially like uh, adam page and dante martin that opened the show where you would expect for the championship that a championship match is going to go 15 minutes and they just sprinted through this one. It was like seven and a half minutes, I think. Um, real good action, you know, not perfect, but also some really, really cool looking stuff and, and um, you know, very well paced. All right. So what in the hell did I miss on social media while we're talking about this with this Matt Hardy segment? In what sense? Well, they had announced that there was going to be a meeting. That was all they announced. And then Matt Hardy comes out, and he's just talking about how Andrade wants him to be fired. <laughs> I was like, what? I guess that was the meeting. What? What? This just... Anyway, so he comes out, and he goes, oh, I hear we're having this meeting because Andrade wants me to be fired. And I didn't mm-hmm. know what he was talking about. And he goes, but you'll never be able to fire me because a uh, private party will never uh, vote for me to be fired. And he goes, all right, you want me to be fired? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, but if it's a vote... Okay, Matt Hardy and private party's three... But there's still Jose, Andrade, Butcher and Blade. That's four. Butcher so and Blade st- apparently don't get votes. Oh, I, 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 they didn't vote, but they were standing there. Why wouldn't they get votes? Well, uh, apparently when they put this group together, they didn't have voting power. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. You I guess mean, that's it. what happened. You're, not, you're non-voting members. He, he, he asked everyone to vote, and the only people that voted were him and Private Party, who all initially did a thumbs up. And then Andrade did a thumbs down, and uh, Jose did a thumbs down. I don't know why Jose gets a vote, this guy. And then, uh, um, who's the third guy? Matt Hardy. No, the third guy on Andrade's team. Oh, it was only two, that's why. So it's yeah, three. Butcher, Butcher and Blade were the other two guys. Yeah, but they didn't vote. So anyway, uh, Matt Hardy's all happy that he's not going to be uh, kicked out, but then as he starts talking to uh, 
Andrade. Private Party turns a thumbs up to a thumbs down behind his back. And Andrade says, you need to watch your back. And, of course, he turns around, and they attack him, and they're beating him down. And then Sting and Darby hit the ring, and they start getting beaten down. And all of a sudden, Jeff Hardy's WWE Hardy Boys music hits. The crowd goes nuts. He hits the ring. He runs wild, sends everybody packing. And then uh, Darby had a stare down with Jeff Hardy there for a while. And uh, we'll do Rampage spoilers later. But um, I don't think it's a spoiler to tell everybody that these teams are probably going to have a match at some point. Sting and Darby versus the Hardys. You know, I mean, the interesting thing is, is I just thought it was comical how Jeff Hardy's music plays and Matt's getting beat up and he stands there and does his Jeff Hardy dance. Of course he does. Before going to he the ring. He can't help I mean, himself. It's been 20 years. I mean, that's now that's WWE. That's the WWE silliness. I don't really, I actually don't expect, like, in AEW, when your brother's getting beaten up, that you stand there and you have to do your dance first. Well, I mean, yeah, just, but I mean, when you've been with a company on and off for like 25 years and you've been trained that do you your fucking do your entrance, dance. don't sell, don't do anything. These fans paid to see your stupid entrance. He can't help himself. He did his entrance. Yeah, I don't know. Someone don't needs know. to tell him now. You don't have to do your entrance every time, buddy. Just yeah, like, but the thing is, come but out. Now, but now, now, now he should do his entrance. I mean, the only time he shouldn't was like he should do that. Every other time, this is the one time he shouldn't have. Well, you know. So now, but I guess it's because it's the he first still time. successfully saved his brother. It just took him a little longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe so maybe he, Matt deserved it. Yeah, he got a he got a big reaction, and uh, as you knew he would. Um, I mean, it's like we knew he was coming in. Everybody knew. Everybody knew he was coming in. But that's a big expense, you know. I mean, that's another big expenditure. So it's not like, um, well, I mean, he just bought Ring of Honor. It's not like. Uh, it's not like he slowed down on spending money. That's the one thing. I mean, the idea of the Cody Rhodes thing is is like that that he wasn't willing to spend money and that he's tapped out or something. You know, that was was one of those stories that that WWE tried to tell its talent. You know, it's like ah, that's because that, that is what they were saying. I mean, I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure it's not right about now. When you look at brought in him, Shane Strickland, Paige Van Zandt, who probably. Paige Van Zandt probably doesn't come cheap either. So, um, you know, I mean, uh, Strickland probably comes at a, you know, I'm not saying, like, he comes cheap, but it's probably not a giant expense. So um, buying the entire, you know, Ring of Honor library itself, you know, 20 years of, of footage and everything, that's probably not cheap either. So it was Scorpio Sky, Sammy Guevara. Big spot was Sammy trying to 6.30 off the post, but he missed and crashed through a table on the outside. They sent out Ty Conti. She's checking on him. The doctor's checking on him. She was crying. He was, like, acting like his ribs were broken. I, I thought, you know, and they did a lot of this during the commercial break, but I thought that as far as, like, you know, in these situations, when you do this stuff, um, it always looks contrived, and it always looks... You're like, okay, he's going to come back and blah, 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 right? And I thought that, like, they were very, um, I don't want to say convincing, but they were more convincing than usual. I mean, I, I was watching it going, like, they're doing, you know, like the, the Sammy Guevara here and Ty Conti and the doctor, I thought, did a very good job of making making it look like, you know, this is not part of the show, even though it obviously was. So then uh, we had Paige Van Zandt in the front row. She's yelling at Ty Conti. Sammy gets back in the ring, selling the ribs. He goes for the shooting star. Sky gets his knees up. Paige Van Zandt then attacks Ty Conti. So now Guevara's distracted and hurt. And Scorpio Sky hits the TKO. Crowd went nuts. Got the pin. Huge pop for the title change. And then the heels go after them afterwards. Scorpio Sky lays out Guevara with the belt. Uh, Paige Van Zant uh, high kicks Ty Conti and then signs the contract on her ass, and that's how the show goes off the air. Yep, new TNT champion. Yep. So Ty a lot Conti, of stuff happened on this show. Yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of they're building up a lot of different directions. Um, you know, you know, short term and long term. Obviously, Ty Conti and uh, Paige Van Zant is going to be a program, which will be interesting um you know i mean it's you know page has a has a, a a weird problem in the sense that 
because she's a star, she's going to be rushed. And being rushed on national television is not necessarily the best thing, but it's just going to be that way. It's like, and essentially what, what's going to happen with Gable Stevenson in WWE, I mean, not as high profile, but um, it's and maybe, you know, she's actually more famous than he is, but um, a lot more, even though he won a gold medal. But, um, you know, it's 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 hard today when the standard of wrestling is so high for somebody to like learn on national TV it is it is tough and then but there's people and those two are two of them where they're just because of their name like the name the name is such a great help to get you in the door but the name is also a hindrance because it can be brutal if you're not good and I mean look at poor Dominic Mysterio every you know it's like he's really good for his level of experience and everything but man people are brutal to him because he's you know and and you know he's not at the level of most of those guys but you know he, because of the storyline um you know he he had to start he had to start his career on na like not on NXT like Tiffany Stratton or something I mean he's got to start on the big show and um you know, Paige is another one. I mean, she's, you know, got to start on national TV with people waiting for her to fail. And, uh, you know, I mean, Rhonda had to do the same thing, too. Um, but, you know, Rhonda, you know, I mean, Rhonda's a, a different level athlete than Paige. I mean, you know, you know, so she she did well. That doesn't mean Paige will do well. But, you know, I guess, you know, she's been training and we'll see. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.